right, y'all. So we made it back to the range today, and we got some 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 good guys in the building. Let me show y'all. First and foremost, I was wrapping up the video today on Sealy, the Sealy, Sealy, the Sealy enclosed red dot. So I wanted to get a few more shots on that. Um, then we're gonna move to the CZ Shadow, which we'll be trying out for the very very first time as well. And then we're gonna move on, and we're also doing some last shots follow up on the atlas titan rds so we're gonna be shooting this one as well then moving along to the one that i'm really looking forward to and that is the fnx tactical 45 um this one you probably just seen recently on the channel we'll be doing our first mag video on this so all these are going to be reviews coming out very soon we're shooting basically the b-roll to all of it so you'll be seeing a lot of that coming in the next couple of days uh, we also have this, which we'll be doing like our little first, well, we already did a video on it, but we haven't done a follow-up. Oh, I left it. This was the Walter. I didn't bring it. Damn. Well, with that being said, then that means that we'll just be going straight into this one, last but not least. And this is the SIG M18. This is the X with the new X grip. So, and it comes with the Romeo, uh, the Romeo M17 site that has been extremely, you know, hyped up for some time now. So we'll be getting into all that. So we got a lot to do today and uh, we'll be getting, you know, you guys and girls straight into it. So let's go ahead and pop off the CZ and uh, get it popping. y'all so we just wrapped up the cz man i really do like it a lot i'm gonna be 1000 percent honest with you guys i did something i did something stupid um and it's not like a big no-no but i always want to remain transparent with you guys all the time so as I, you may be remembered i bought this recently right well i did not cite it in because the individual who i got it from had cited it in but i did not know where they cited it in and my shots were a little bit lower than i wanted so I was just aiming high, just getting some a good feel for the gun for the most part. And um, I definitely though want to go to an indoor range because I don't have my papers with me today. We're shooting steel and I want to kind of get it dialed in to at about 25 yards. Once I found out I was shooting low, I just aimed up and I was doing fine at that point. There was no issue with the gun whatsoever. But I do want to remain transparent and say that I was not hitting the target as well as I would like. But the trigger felt amazing. Um, the slide, the handle, the grip, the recoil, all that amazing in hand. And uh, I would say my only gripe with this gun, which is kind of stupid, I would like to see how this thing is with a flat face trigger. I think that the actual trigger, like the trigger pull, uh, the the length, you know, the length of the overall trigger pull, the double action, single action, all that's fine. All that is perfect. I have no issue with that whatsoever. I'm more so talking about the actual feeling of the trigger. It's a curved trigger. Um, it feels good, don't get me wrong, but I would like to try out a flat face trigger as well, just to see, just to see the difference. Um, but to be honest, that's a lot. And I'd rather just leave it as is. I think the gun is fine as is. I'm just saying that I would like to try a flat face trigger on this one. Like I would just like to try it. I wouldn't want to try it on mine. I wouldn't want to do all that. I, I, I can get used to this. I think the trigger is phenomenal. The trigger is amazing. But it is something that I just want to speak on. Is bring up. But shoots great. Shoots great. Uh, next up, we're going to get back with this beautiful Atlas Gunworks Titan. Let's get it.
okay guys so we just wrapped up the titan rds now the titan rds is i want to say the maybe the entry level to the atlas gunworks 1911 2011s because i want to say that this one's you know around that 5800 where the other one's around 7000 and up i want to say though there's another model maybe like the athena there's other models that are around that 5800 to 6000 but the titan rds is like your entry level 2011 from atlas gunworks and i would say shooting this and then shooting the erebus there's some slight differences you feel me but is it you know the erebus being i think what 7000 almost or something and this is like i stated i think 58 or something or 52 i can't i can't remember the price it's entry level right this is the the least expensive 2011 that atlas gunworks offers right and with that being said the price difference what you get you get a lot with the Erebus, don't get me wrong, but you're good with this. Like, from shooting both, right? Shooting both of these, I'm saying, like, you get... I, I basically am trying to say I think you get more bang for your buck for this one. Because you get all the main components, bells and whistles, that the Erebus gives you. But, of course, the Erebus has that, you know, built-in weight and comp at the end that, you know, allows you to, uh, you know, get some weight and get less recoil. But you get the amazing Atlas trigger, you got, you know, the ambidextrous safety, um, the slide release, of course, is not. But you get all the, 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 the main components that makes Atlas's guns great, and you don't have to pay the Erebus price. So I definitely, you are, you know, got some bread, but you don't want to go full Erebus. Do not be ashamed to go with the Titan. You still, you still going to be spending good money regardless, regardless of the fact. And now it's time to shoot this bad boy right here. So let's get straight to it. So you guys can see like the footage shown that would be some of the footage also shown in the main video but you know in the actual first mag review but this one's just specifically for you guys okay for the range day vlog this thing is extremely accurate out the box the sights that's the sight we're right here right all i did was line the dot up the, the red dot with these uh, actual sights and i'm not that far away i'm about maybe 10 yards okay but you see that little orange piece? You, you can probably barely see that orange piece because that orange piece is uh, already been. I missed it. I missed that last one because I was moving too fast. I was trying to be too spotty. I'm gonna show y'all, right? I was just being too spotty. I was being too, too, uh, too cocky with it. All right, that was a miss on my behalf. All right, made up for it. This thing, I mean, like I said, we're 10 yards in, but for 45, I was expecting a lot more recoil. But this is a big gun and it takes a lot of that recoil and this thing just shoots it just shoots fabulous it shoots fabulous this thing this is might be uh this might replace everything and be my bed gun right here bedside gun right there 45 and of course threaded barrel so you can run it suppressed when that man this thing caught me off guard i ain't gonna lie it caught me off guard. so next up guys we're going to be shooting the sig m18x this is the M18 with the X grip on it. And of course it comes with the Romeo 17 dot, which this itself is gonna probably need its own review, which we'll probably follow up on in the video as well. So on the actual review, but this dot is amazing. I'll say that off the rip, it is amazing. y'all so i brought back this bad boy we actually did this on the last range day and i just need to get a couple more shots the issue is that i felt some type of way okay i felt some type of way that the gun was handling me more than i was handling it so i brought some 38 special just to get a couple more shots so that i could do finish off that review because that review should be dropping this week if you're watching it might have dropped even before this video drops 
but uh, I got some 38 special with me so I can handle it more because that, that 357 hurt. So I'm gonna try it out right now. We're gonna do some shots with that. And then uh, we're gonna go back to shooting this a little bit more. I'm probably gonna shoot a couple more shots on that and we, you know, be pretty much wrapped up. And uh, what we'll probably do is also come back to the crib and just go through the guns. Talk about each gun, how I thought they did a little bit more, you know, something like that. So we'll go from there and uh, see y'all in a few. All right, y'all, so we finally made it back to the crib and I thought about doing something different than I normally do. And that is kind of like running down how the gun shot, at least, you know, a lot of this stuff is gonna be in, I would say in the actual reviews of the guns. But since we are doing range days, you know, I thought why not kind of give my overall thoughts and opinions on them as a way of, I guess, behind the scenes because I'll follow up more detailed on the actual review, but we did test out the Titan RDS from Atlas Gunworks, which we're actually going to be doing the review on like very soon. Like the, it might be the next video. The, this thing shot phenomenally in my opinion. Um, the trigger, the gun itself, like I said, this is like their entry like gun into the Atlas Gunworks. And for it being an entry level gun, it far exceeds a lot of guns out there as their entry level. But at the same time, the price point, I mean, it speaks for itself. But like I stated before, the Erebus being a far more, I guess, elevated in their hierarchy. This is no, like this, just because this is the entry and that's like the maximum, don't look past this bad boy whatsoever. It shoots, in my opinion, just as good. That's just how I feel. I mean, yeah, you got the compensator. You have an overall bigger gun with the Erebus. This is a smaller gun, slightly smaller than the Erebus. I'd say that the grip and everything is about the same, but the, the little extra comp and weight on the front, there's some slight differences of the dimensions, of course, but I feel like this thing shot no less than the Erebus at the end of the day. A phenomenal trigger, phenomenal slide. Everything is just extremely smooth and buttery. I mean, it just glides. It's just fitted perfectly at the end of the day. So had a great time shooting it. Um, of, course the, uh, of course, the SRO gives you a very big magnification at the end of the day when utilizing this bad boy. Next up, we got the CZ Scorpion. I said CZ, CZ Shadow, CZ Shadow 2 Compact, the new bad boy in the family. I just remembered I left the red dot on, but it's, it's okay, it's an aim point. These are meant to be left on. These, these got a long time battery life at the end of the day. Now, uh, this thing shot great, shot phenomenal. Um, in hand, everything, I definitely want to go get this sighted in. It was shooting slightly lower than I wanted at the end of the day. I should have, you know, like I said, I was not just shooting it blindly. Like I found out how it was sighted in. I feel like it was sighted in, in my opinion, maybe at a more closer range to how the previous owner did. I want to probably get it at about a good zero at 25. And I could have done it at 25, but where I was actually shooting at, like at this time, I don't believe I was, uh, it was a 25 yard difference. I want to say it was probably about uh, 20. So I want to take it to an actual range where I can meter it out perfectly and get this thing zeroed in to where I want to. But it shot phenomenally at the end of the day. Um, feels great in hand, the weight's not bad. I definitely feel like this is a potential carry gun for me. Some people don't like it because it's still framed that they feel like it might be too heavy. I don't feel like this thing was heavy at all. It definitely uh, feels great though in hand when shooting it. The only gripe, and I'll mention it more so in the actual review, the slide is just so small. Like the frame, and I think this has a lot to do, correct me, feel free in the comments about like the, the axis bore and all that. Like the frame is thicker than the slide. And I'm used to shooting guns that, you know, their slide is thicker than the frame. I mean, look like here, for instance, you have a Glock 19, look how thick that slide is and look how thin the frame is, right? The CZ on the other hand is the exact opposite. And what I noticed when shooting it is this getting my hand, I gotta like pinch it. Like it's, it's like a pinch. Like you gotta pinch, I can't grab this whole thing. I gotta pinch this top part to, you know, to slide it back. Or I can just go back here. I kinda have to grab the optic. I just need, there's not that much meat 
on the slide. That's my biggest gripe with this gun in general. There's no other real gripe. I have no other problem. But like, I got so much real estate to grab up on when it comes to the Glock at the end of the day. But for this, it just, it's it's a skinny guy. I don't know. Maybe y'all can let me know a better way to do so or how to go about it. I mean, I have to, I feel better grabbing the, the acro at the end of the day to actually pull the slide back. But that's it. This is me complaining, right? But I'll make sure to talk about that more. But this thing shot phenomenal. I love the the sight to go along with it. Yeah, people have said, somebody said, why you have a 14 inch TV screen on your gun? Hey, why not? It is what it is, man. I, I like it. I like it. I'm cool with it. But definitely a gun that's going to see a lot more a lot more fun a lot more hands-on for me at the end of the day you know so yeah probably my the, the most fun gun i shot was the fnx 45 tactical this thing phenomenal i'm definitely gonna have to be loading up on way more 45 at the end of the day this thing i had a blast this has it has no recoil. I mean, I feel like I was shooting a four uh, a nine millimeter, but I'm 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 dumping 45 ACP, you know, and it shoots phenomenal. Uh, this thing, extremely accurate, extremely accurate as well, and extremely fun. I just cannot wait to get a suppressor on this and really start just dialing in on this thing at the end of the day. I want to take it to the range again. As I stated, I was shooting still. I was supposed to bring my actual paper targets. I just didn't, I forgot to bring paper. So I was shooting still all day when I was doing the behind the scenes. So I couldn't really like dial in on like precision, but I mean, I'm hitting still, I'm hitting the little, my little one inch gong I had. So I knew I was hitting pretty accurate. I just want to dial in more on punching the same hole if I can. I feel like this gun, once again, bro, there's something about 45 that I'm just not giving enough uh, due diligence for. Like it's a round that you would feel is going to be extremely heavy recoil. It's a big bullet. It's a chunky bullet. It's, but bro, like my 1911, I've told y'all before, I have not done a video on it yet, which I need to, but my Springfield Armory 1911 was one of my most like accurate guns that I've ever shot. It's a 1911 and 45 ACP. And now we have the FNX 45 ACP. And I feel like there's a reason why they're calling it the you know the god's god's bullet it just feels like a phenomenal gun and the bullet itself is i've shot a, a 45 in glock and it, it felt different like this one it just it handles recoil amazing amazing at the end of the day and then we have of course the gun that i'm a little uh disappointed in myself i would say with you know i was a little ashamed but that is the taurus arms 65. I was a little ashamed of this thing at the end of the day. I was a little ashamed with how I was doing myself. Ashamed of myself because 357 was kicking my butt. But 38 Special, I felt a little bit more controlled. Maybe I, I need to start my way up when it comes to revolvers because at the end of the day, I I suck at shooting revolvers. Y'all yeah, have seen it before. I've reviewed you know, the uh, Smith & Wesson, um, uh, what's it called? The uh, Model, my brain's Model 19, Model 19. I want to make sure I got that right. My brain's my brain just farted on me, y'all. I got so much stuff going on. It's the Model 19. Yes, the Model 19. I own the Model 19. I own the Model 19, okay? Yes. But with that being said, I suck at revolvers. But maybe one day I can get better. But I think I need to start with a 38 special, get used to it, get used to really this. I feel like the reason why I suck at it is the trigger. The trigger. Learning that trigger and learning that like the double action specifically. There's a click right there that click and then following through because single action i do well with single action because it's not that much that's needed but that full long pull it can get it, it gets me but i have fun shooting it i just last but not least was probably my most i would say surprised gun that i had fun with and that is the the model or m18 my bad the m18x look how look how dirty this thing got bro I have to wipe that down for the review, but goodness, it got extremely dirty from all the oils and everything. But this thing shot amazing. I I I, I came in thinking, I mean, it's a Model 18, it's a P320. It's just got a new frame, the new frame, and they, but they're charging like $1,500, $1,400 for, but it's really, you're paying for the optic at the end of the day. The reason why though, I have an X-Carry, so I'm very familiar with this, this gun. The X-Carry is pretty much like the same slide, it's just the barrel's a little bit, it's like a threaded barrel. And of course it has the same frame, but it has the tungsten weights in it. So it's a little bit more heavier than this one. But I don't know, I mean, I just, and I've been, if you see my video, you probably might comment, 
I've been watching, I believe it was PewView who put out the video of just trying to shoot with a higher grip. So when I shoot, I'm usually like this, right? My thumb placement. But I seen a video where he was up higher, right? On the gun, like right here. And I was trying that a little bit. You might see me shoot a little high, shoot a little low. And um, I was, I, I felt really good about this. This gun, I felt really good about the, the, the high grip. I felt good just shooting this overall. And I really wanna, sooner than later, I got a couple of P320s actually. I got this one, I got another one, and another one y'all ain't seen. This one, my Legion, and then another one you ain't seen. I wanna take them all out and see, was it really just this one or my other one as well? Like my X-Carry, which weighs more because of the grip, I want to see if I feel like the same way about that one, but I don't know what it was, but this thing just shot really, really good. It felt fun um, at the end of the day. And this is the one that has like the manufacturing for the, the army and all that at the end of the day. Like this is a uh, few guys that are into like clone correct or whatever clone guns and all that. I mean, this is pretty close to that. You feel me? Model 18. There's this the 17 that's a little bit longer, like the full size. This is like the more compact. I like this gun. This one definitely uh, surprised me at the end of the day. But I know a lot of people were like against like the, the price point, but the optic, phenomenal. So yeah, guys, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. All right, it's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in, I'm checking out.